Mr. Team Milan, and he started to appear to you to help them out of their plight. So, my boy, when you arrived in the city of Sandwood, I was met by all the beings of our tribe who had remained on that planet, both old and young. That same evening we called a general meeting to take counsel together in order to find some way out of the situation. To this first meeting we also invited King Apollos, with whom our elder countrymen had already had many talks with the same name in view. And the evening the king, addressing himself to all, began as follows, in part to friends. Personally, I am deeply sorry for what has happened and for all the trouble it has brought to both assembled here, and I am distressed in all my being that it is beyond my power to extricate you from the difficulties ahead. You must know, the king continues, that the machinery of government of my community, set in motion and established for centuries, is now radically changed. To revert to the old order is already impossible without provoking the wrath of most of my subjects. Things have reached a point whereby myself I am not able to undo what has been done without bringing on serious consequences, and therefore I beg you all, in the name of justice, to give me your help. I bitterly reproach myself, he added, in the presence of all of you, because I am also greatly to blame for all these misfortunes. And I am to blame because I ought to have foreseen what would happen, for I have existed longer in these conditions than my young adversary, the kinsman, with whom I may be a dream known to you all. To tell the truth, it was unpardonable of me to take such a risk with a being who, though perhaps of much higher reason than myself, is certainly less practiced than I am in affairs of this time. Once more I beg all of you, and your right reverence in particular, to forgive me and help me find a way out of this sad predicament. If things are now, I can only do what you will indicate. After King Apples had left, we decided to choose from among ourselves several elderly experienced being too, that very night, to hear all the data and draw up a plan of action. The rest of us then left, with the understanding that we would reassemble the next evening at the same place, so to this second meeting the king was not invited. At this next meeting, one of the elders who had been selected the night before reported as follows. We pondered this lamentable affair the whole night through, and discussed it in all its details, and we have come to the unanimous conclusion that there is no way out but to revert to the former conditions of government. We are all in agreement that a return to the former order would unquestionably set off a revolt among the citizens of the community, and that this revolt would certainly be followed by all those consequences that have become inevitable on earth in such circumstances. And of course many of us, power-possessing beings, of this community would suffer terribly, and could even be completely destroyed, and above all it seems impossible that King Apollos could escape such a fate. We then deliberated further to find some means of diverting these unhappy consequences, if only from the king himself. And we wished at all costs to succeed in this because at our general meeting yesterday evening King Apollos was very frank and friendly with us, and we should all be extremely sorry if we should have to suffer. After much deliberation, we finally concluded that the king could be saved only if, during the excessive revolt, 
wings should be placed not upon the king but upon those around him, that is, the members of his government. Moreover, the beings who have fallen into this psychosis even, beings, the war king and pity him, saying that this miserable revolution had broken out because there, poor king, had been surrounded by such a spoil and ungrateful subordinates. When the revolutionary psychosis has completely died down, King Apollos returned to Samuel and, again with the help of our elder beings, began replacing our countrymen with those of his former officials who were still alive, or with new ones appointed from among his subjects. And when the king had re-established his former policy, his subjects again began filling the treasury with money and obeying their king's commands, and the affairs of the realm once more settled down into the old established penthouse. As for our naive, unfortunate countrymen who had been the cause of it all, it was so painful for him that he could no longer bear to remain on the planet that had proved so disastrous for him, and he returned with it to the planet Mars. And later he even became an excellent governor there for all the beings of our tribe. Chapter 16 The Relativity of the Concept of Time
pressure, yet for the blame for drifting within the drop of water itself, this same period of the flow of time is perceived as objective. To clarify this idea, those beings called hypochondriacs, who exist among the three brain beings of the planet Earth, can serve as another example. It often seems to be terrestrial hypochondriacs that time passes intimately slowly or, as they would say, this drags phenomenally tediously. In exactly the same way, it may occasionally seem to some infinitesimal beings in that drop of water, assuming, of course, that there happen to be hypochondriacs among them that time drags phenomenally tediously. But in fact, according to the sensation of the duration of time of your terrestrial phases, the whole existence of these microcosmoses lasts only a few of their minutes and sometimes only a few of their seconds. My boy, so that you may understand time and its peculiarities better, let us compare your age with the corresponding age of a being existing on the planet Earth. And for this comparison, you must take the same standard meaning of time that objective science uses for such calculations. First of all, that objective science has established, according to data about which you will learn later when I have specially explained to you the fundamental laws of real creation and world existence, that all normal free brain beings, and among them of course those arising on our planet periodic, since the sacred, ego kunas narnian, by which they define time, 49 times more clearly than it is sensed by the sacred individuals dwelling on the most holy sun afterwards. Consequently, the process of the flow of time is 49 times quicker for the three brain beings of our periodic than for the beings on the sun afterwards, and this is the speed at which it also should flow for those breathing on the planet Earth. Moreover, it is calculated that, during the period of time in which the sun came on complete its movement is closest to flow to the sun fellows, the period is considered as one. Newer, on our periodic, the planet Earth completes 389 centimeter revolutions around its sun or the hollows from which it are near, according to the conventionally objective calculation of time, is 389 times longer than the period which your favorites consider a year. to know that these calculations were given to me in part by the great arch engineer of the universe, his measurability, the archangel Algamatan, may he be protected unto the holy angel. He explained them to me when, on the occasion of the first misfortune to the planet Earth, he came to the planet Mars as one of the sacred members of the third most high commission and further calculations were given me by the captain of the trans space ship on the present, with whom I had several friendly talks on my journey home from exile. Now you should make a view, as a free brain being who arose on the planet Tyrannus, are at present only a 12 year old boy with regard to being in reason, exactly like a boy or child on the planet Earth who is still unformed and not yet aware of himself, and leaves all three brain beings their lived through in the process of growing up to the being of a responsible being. All the features of your whole psyche, your character, temperament, and inclination, in short, all the particularities of your psyche that are manifested outwardly are exactly the same as those of an immature and still flying free brain being there at the age of 12. And so, from all I have just said, it's 
because of the abnormal conditions of ordinary being existence established by them themselves, these possibilities see their wings in vain. It is interesting to note that in the three brain beings, as the planet Earth, these three brains are found in the same parts of the planetary body as an Earth. That is, the brain predetermined by great nature for the concentration and further actualizing of the first holy source of the sacred cuneus of Hamna, called the holy affirming, is localized in the head. The second brain, which transforms and crystallizes the second holy source of the sacred cuneus of Hamna,
very independent parts of the omnipresent active element bolted on that present in the atmosphere are many interplanetary or planetary formation and only in these sets. The eight parts have been artificially re-blended into a single whole in the atmosphere. The bolted on it, now in its usual state, flow into that container where it is concentrated. Thank you. 
switch is attached to the edge of the disabler of your PA plate. And then something happens to Dorna Hor Harhar that suddenly changed all this strange being experience in his mind. And in my common presence, the user is being experienced in your whole being. This is really clear. Dorna Hor Harhar, with all the heavy equipment he is wearing, Like they found in your 